Ah! Ah! Yeah, that was anticlimactic, but guess what's not? Hey, Fishing Black Friday is going on right now, and you guys can save up to 70% off everything Guggen related. Yes, everything. I'm talking about everything, guys. Use code LUNKERS at checkout, and you guys can save 70%. It'd be like me, you have. There goes my fishing poles. And you guys can be like me, and you guys have way too much Guggen gear you don't know what to do with. So, hey, go click the link in the very top description, go check it out. Fishing Black Friday is happening right now. GuggenSquad.com. Use code LUNKERS, save up to 70%. I'm here for you guys. Now, watch me go kick some people's teeth in and take the lunch money, baby. We're back at it. I love you guys. Go check them out. Link in the top description. Good morning, everybody. Welcome over to the channel. <laughs> yeah, we got up early today. I know it didn't seem like it's it's 6:09, but I mean, we we got up like 3:45 to make it over here to fish on a lake in a tournament that, for one, I haven't fished this lake since last June, so I have no idea what's going on. That's always good. But got a call last night from a buddy. Said, "Hey, you want to come fish it?" I said, "Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? It's it's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be fun." Oh, 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 shit. oh no! We're late. Oh, we're late. Take off is happening. And then there's me and you. No, so, we wouldn't be late. No, we would never be late to anything like this. I don't know what it is about me. Every time I freaking go fish a tournament or something, I'm freaking turning drills and wrenches and always got to be working on something. That's how we start our day with Chance Woodard. Tournament's already taken off, don't worry. We're just going to be a little bit late here. Shocking, right? I bet you if I was a guest, it's a hummingbird, isn't it? Yeah, and it yeah. has to be the middle freaking one that you can't get to. Oh, you bring it? What are you bringing that for? I was said just in case we get punt. <laughs> oh god! So we're gonna throw this in the back just in case we apparently need the 360. We'll let it, we'll put it right here. Really, I, yeah. I don't plan on using it, but yeah, it's we'll keep it on just, just because. Me, I gotta have it. God, I could not have asked for a more beautiful November day. Like that is that looks good. Calm. Not super cold. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. I think we're gonna. We're gonna crush them today. I got faith. I think I brought everything to watch football today, but I ain't real sure. What the hell? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the world just happened? Was it just sitting on the bottom? I don't know, but that fish will measure. That's the freaking one we need. <laughs> what, the what in the world is going on here? You want to measure? <laughs> I mean, I... The only thing that sucks, dude, is that may caught that was first cast. Now you don't ever do that. <laughs> nah, he's way too long. Yeah. Okay, well that's interesting. Weird start. I was down here just about to grab my old uh probably gonna get another bite the rest of the day. Did you caught on first cast? Well, I got blazing warm up and ready. Don't you worry. It was just sitting there. It was just sitting there. I, I mean you were back here messing around. Uh, Alright. Did, did I ever give you one of these toters? This thing's amazing. Yeah. So like with them what how in the world could that have gotten stuck? Yeah, that feels a lot better. <laughs> oh my god! I want to go ahead and see that. Oh, yeah. I got black frogs, small black frogs. It's kind of funny is I wanted to be like a tournament fisherman and I fished a FLW Costa, I think that's what they were called. Is that what they're called? Mm -hmm. And my first one there, I, I didn't really realize, I, I wasn't good at fishing at all. I mean, dude, I'd been fishing at that point for like eight months, maybe six, seven, eight months. And uh, I legitimately caught, I think, 12 pounds and then 13 pounds or something like that. And I was like 180th. 
or whatever it was. I don't even remember what it was. You know what I mean? You know, I was like 180. I was like, man, I spent all this time, all this money to come out of here. I got nothing out of it. And I literally sat in my hotel room. And that's when I decided, I think I'm going to go try to become a YouTuber. I don't know if I got 180th, but I think I got like, I think it was actually like 120th or some, sh like, you know, I don't remember what it was. It was nothing like to write home about. You're like, wow, that was really bad. I've been there many times. The guy that actually won it, won it doing, he was punching hay grass. And this is how new I was to fishing at that time. I had uh, legitimately no idea how or what he meant by punching hay grass. Like, I didn't even know what it meant. I was like, I don't know what he's doing. You know, I never, never really punched before like that. I got really lucky who taught me how to punch. So I had a huge head start. I taught Scott Martin taught me how to punch. So oh, well, yeah, that... I got, ah, damn, I'm sorry, bud. He barely sucked me underneath that damn chunk of grass right there. Yeah, look, barely, he just came up and like sucked it. God, that was a giant. Oh my God. Did you, you didn't see that, did you? Oh my God. I've had on the Damn, dude. That was a big end. Hold on, I gotta get, uh, let me get that stick bait back out. Yeah, right when you reeled it in, dude. Big old sucker. It's cause you caught a fish on the first cast. Dude, I'm telling you, I always throw out in front of the troll motor real quick <laughs> just to get a cast out of the way. Oh, tell me, tell me, I saw it. Now he's gonna keep though. Oh, swim bait, huh? Uh oh. Doink. Is he on? Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, good, good little. Though. Is it gonna be too good? No. No, that one's good. That's gonna be perfect. Oh, what are you talking I hope about? He don't come off come on. Watch out. Oh, he's a hair big. Dead you think gunner. so? Dude, if that thing measured, that would be like the world record of unders, but. I don't know. Holy smokes. Perfect. Oh, is he under 16? Dude. Wow. He is oh under 16. <laughs> I thought he was over. <laughs> I, saw, I was the biggest under I've ever caught, and he's not even barely 15 inches. Yeah, that's good. That thing's two and a half pounds. <laughs> that's good. That's, that's a, a giant. That's a seven, yeah. eight pounder anywhere else you go. Like yeah. a six pounder anyway. <laughs> that just got our day back there. I've never really fished this thing in grass. Also, um, how I caught him. Oh, get that sucker in here. Get that one in here. That's a good one. There we go. There's one. I wasn't going to let him play around. Exactly. No, a little braid, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's dizzy. I just stuck him. Oh, there's, there's one. I actually did something for us, dude. Did. I did something. I just told you a second ago I got bumped. The old blazing worm. They're not eating the bladed jig, but... Oh, that was on the worm. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. They're not eating the blading jig, but they are eating this. Got bumped and then back to next cast. I think we need to back off right a little bit, to be honest with you. Look at this grass is right here. All right, so pause real quick. I forgot to actually mention this at the very beginning of the episode. Hey, this is actually a slot tournament. So any fish that's caught between 16 and 24 inches, we have to throw back. The way you saw that first one throw back, probably was like, why do they do that? So... Just so you are aware, yes, 16 to 24, nothing is kept. So it's very crucial that you catch fish that are like 15 and a half inches. And that's why it kind of seems like everything's small. So when you're fishing a lake like this, it has a ton of giant fish and it's literally built and made for big fish. That's how they do it, have that slot in there. Just so you're aware. So here you go. Enjoy me catching something from underneath a nice crispy dock. Uh-oh, see you now there. Got him. Oh, that's going to be a good one. That's a good one. Oh, get him in here. <sighs> Switched up to something super random. Dude, I don't know if I knocked my look. I don't know if I knocked the underspin off on the dock when I pitched it, but I caught it without the underspin. I just reeled it in, though. Bam. I didn't have an underspin on. Knocked it off. Let's get hit again. I did. That one's bad. keeper. Yeah, that one. Oh. oh no! Yeah, yeah, I spoke too soon. You got a fish. You got a fish. No. no. no I don't. Damn, dude. I, don't know. I had a keeper there, huh? Yeah, that was a decent little. I mean, that was bigger than that first one I had. 
I've been bit three times down this one little area right here. Probably need to go down the stretch that way too, huh? Oh uh, yeah, I and mean, it gets off the show. Ooh, that one bowed the rod up like that. That one did. More to it. Oh, another one. Okay, we got a limit though, huh? We got a limit, and I've had, I've had four bites and five casts. Four bites, five casts. Oh my God, look at that. That's cold. That's cold not having the right setup here. I literally just threw this random reel on this rod. You know this, the, you know what reel this is for? This is for like my swim bait reel. Look how, I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay, well that reel is done. This one's done. Damn. That are actually a quarter round. Oh my god, dude. That's hitting that blade. There, that's exactly what's happening here. I smoked that blade. It's as they're like hanging out on these like I don't even want to call them twigs. I don't I don't know what you would call them, buck brush. Yeah, you know, they're just like hanging much. hanging out chilling in the buck brush. Yeah. God, and I'm hung up. You got one on. Oh, it's gonna help us. God, why'd you say that? Oh, wow, dude. Golly. God oh, damn it. Gosh. Son of a gun. I'm I'm hung oh. too. Look at that. It was too big, wasn't it? No. Sl it was slot big. fish? No, oh god. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just uh sit here and try to get myself unstuck. I'm yeah, sorry. Man. That was on me. No, that was on me. Not. Right when I said, hey, it's gonna help us, it pops out. I was just Damn. I'm gonna tell you right now. I mean, this is a, a is, very strange. That is my hard bite. Me not to be superstitious because it's just. Yeah, hard. we actually. I mean, that one would probably helped a little bit. I don't know if, it, if I'm hoping it was. Look at this. That one will help too. Ah! <laughs> oh, I helped us out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you want to figure out which one we got to get rid of back here? Are you stuck now? I'm freaking. Home. Wow, he wasn't barely. He was barely hooked. Oh, you tagged this one in here? Damn, this is this is always the best part is when both of you don't go through anything. Oh no. Yeah, I mean it's bigger than that one. Is there one in there smaller than that white one? Put it out. There's a, there's another smaller one in there. Now drop. I'll talk him from there. Nah, he weighs more. Think put, so? Yeah, put yeah for sure. Put the white on on that one. That's good yeah, toss him. him back. We'll figure it out. We catch another. Oh, I hope I'm freaking winning money right now. Good gosh, we forgot to turn college football on. I brought all that. Sh <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm really trying to say there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to say I'm fing hot, is what I'm trying to say, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No, what in the world? That thing was just sitting on the bottom while you were jacking with your stuff. Are you kidding me? Wow, that could really help out. Hell yeah, that'll help out. Wow, the trench off. Damn, we should have been freaking. Dude, are you kidding Here, me? Go figure that out. I'm gonna pack it. <laughs> You've been you've been sitting there jacking with a battery for the last like ten minutes. Well, I've been fishing the whole time. <laughs> I've been my you have not. <laughs> That's a good call. Yeah, dude. Look, you went from that to this. Where's this other one at? Hey, which one? I thought yellow was going. I, well, white's gone. Jeez Louise, what in the world? Yellow. Yeah, I think yellow's okay. got to go. Yellow's gone. Hey, I want to show. Did you see what we got? Are you though? sure that he's our small one? Uh, you can look in there, but I'm pretty sure there's a two attack last. Well, I know, but I didn't go through them. That was a good call. Well, I'm really glad that I have the wrong rod and reel here. You know, I'm I'm really prepped and ready for this 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 deep battle here. You, you know. Do you have a Texas rig tied on? I got a Texas rig, but I yeah yeah. Look, I don't know. Grab your Texas rig and put a trench hog on. Oh, you're talking about me? Oh shit. Yeah, well, <laughs> oh, I don't think so. I uh, when you told me, hey, we're gonna be fishing grass, I showed up with uh, grass rods. <laughs> no, I don't have a I don't have a rod to, to to do this with. It's all good. It's all good. We ain't got we ain't got time to mess around. Huh? Do you have a trench hog that I can use though? Trench hogs. Yeah, they're not. Alright, let's roll. 
Good. Close. I mean, I know we got two good ones for sure. Maybe three. That last one you caught, decent. Yeah. I think to win. We need an over. Well, I don't think we're going to need an over, but I do think we need one more like the one I just caught or so. Next time we run this tournament stuff, we should probably do a little bit of a, I should do some prep. Maybe have like the right rods, maybe uh, set up. That's you know. what I'm saying. I mean, we just kind of come out here today <laughs> and showed up. So since we're finished fishing that trail next year, we got we got to make an agreement. What's up? You're always the guy that weighs in the fish. <laughs> no matter big bag or small bag, you're always a weigh-in fish man. Oh, God. Deal? I'm pretty excited to show the world my my mega bag here. Two little rats. Monsters. Two little rats. Dude, that thing ain't barely 15 inches long. Yeah. Kind of a rat. Not really a rat, but kind of. There you go. Oh, man. Yeah, get that big bag up there, buddy. Don't break your back carrying it. If I just heard him correctly, we might be the new leader. If that's the case, that'd be kind of crazy. I'm sitting here thinking we're gonna, <laughs> we needed an over. It looks like it was terrible fishing. Are we, did I hear what I thought I heard? But do we have big bass right now? Are we in the lead? Uh, yeah, I think so. We're in the lead and have big bass. Right <laughs> I know it's kind of goofy. Big bass may be possibly, but eight ain't gonna hold up. Let's go ahead and do that. That's kind of crazy. Cause they don't shut the weigh in down until four o'clock, so. Yeah, we're way early, so yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, there's no way that's gonna hold. Right now we have big bass and it was like 2.4, which is kind of crazy, but was well, fishing a little tough. Look at this guy. Winter time, no wind, sucks, but pretty rejuvenated myself and uh, Chance, we're gonna be fishing a, uh, a fairly a fairly decent team tour here inside of Texas, the Brandon Belt one. We're gonna fish that together. Bigger entry fees, so it's like somewhat appealing because like, you have to actually take your time. He's got two days of practice or two day events. So it's actually like a real tournament. So I'm pretty excited about that. And it's fun. Team events are way more fun than fishing solo. Fishing solo, my God, makes you want to just take and just ah, at times. Uh-oh. The lights were left on. Oh my God. Well, welcome back to another episode with Lunkers. Can't get through an episode without something getting jacked up. Well, now that I guess I got a second to talk to you because he's come over here and take a gander at his truck. Um, yeah, I told you guys we're getting back into making content and you guys want to see more tournament stuff. So that's an actual tournament trail. I think it's like five events between January and July and they're on really big lakes. They should have at least at minimum 100 boats, which is pretty good. It's like a $1,200 buy-in, so it's, it's it's fairly decent money, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Fish that one, and we might fish another one with John, but I don't know, I'm going to get back to fishing a little bit of tournaments, getting the, the, the swing of things. It took us, I don't know if you guys realize, it took us like three hours today to actually catch a fish, and then we started getting on a roll. I haven't fished in like a year, so we're just kind of get back in it. So if we do anything here, if we can get a top five, this would be considered a win in this little, in this in this tournament. Like, I, I don't want to say I jinxed us twice today, but remember driving in here, what I say? Man, this has got 280,000 miles on it. Had, you've had no issues. And then what I say, oh my God, that fish is going to help us. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then I caught one on the first cast. Yeah, then you caught it on the first cast. So oh, it's just God. ticking over. And I noticed, just so you know, it's got to be my fault. But the headlight switch was switched over one. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, we left the lights on. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. We did. That's all right. This leak's a little old. Got to give her a little. Hold on now. Which is the. Wasn't expecting to turn on that quick. That booster worked. All right. Thank you. Hold on. Well, we placed anyway. I don't know what we placed, but he just said we got your check here. Time will tell. God, I wish we had some freaking air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> His dad stopped working after the battery completely died. I was actually thinking about it just a second ago when we were driving, like, what if? What if, what if everything just went out when we're driving? Because <laughs> I mean, that went out. Man, you well, start to doubt this thing. Dude, dude, this is white lightning right here, son. She just, she she don't even need batteries, really. I, I, I told everybody that a top five would be a big win. Yeah. I think top five, because we haven't fished nothing. Like, yeah, we really haven't we, fished anything. We came over here blind as a bat. What if what if we got a top three? three and what be. if we got big bass? What if no one came in with an over? And what if we we, we actually took it all home? Yeah, I think big... we got a pretty good shot at a big bass. I've seen a lot of under. We had a that was a good under. That really was. That was a solid. Crazy thing is, is it was a damn good under, and it still could have been another inch longer. It was only 15 inches long. Possibly. Uh -oh, man, yep. these guys right here, we definitely finished 
second behind them. It was a boat super wrapped. Oh, they're they're wrapped to the gills, man. They're Yamaha, Power Pole, Wally X, Strike King, Lose, Lake Fork Lures. Damn, they just they just said, you know what? Give me the smorgasbord of a wrap. Yeah. I just want everything. They're they're real. They're big timing. I think he might have had more into his uh, his wrap than his boat might have been worse. Yeah, and his wheels on his trailer. He done went and bought him some custom wheels. Got to play the part, man. All right, so we actually ended up with third place. I'm, you know what? This is actually really good. I'm not mad about it. Second place, they were ahead by like 0.2 ounces. Like, no, no, that's what we got beat out by. And then first place was like a half ounce. Like, excuse me, half pound. That's what that's what we lost first place by. So it was really tight. So I feel pretty good about it. And we did win big bass. So that's that's good. I'm not. I, I don't really know what we're gonna do with all this cash. I have no idea. I mean, we're talking about big bucks here. But we are going to be fishing a very, I'm going to say it's a very good tournament trail here that's going to be starting next month or month and a half from now. Or actually do some prep work for it and actually take it pretty seriously. I want to do well for you guys and for myself. So I hope you guys are excited because I'm excited to be making the content for you. And I mean, come on now. A little third place. Come in here blind and there's like 50, 55 boats or something. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. So thanks for hanging with me, guys. Yay. I'm excited. We're back at it. But guess what? Everybody disappeared. Right about.